Monty Miller, welcome back to my channel. It is a great day to be alive and to get to create. You guys are so kind to me. You sent me in happy mail and I love it. This is a piece of happy mail, part of a package that I received from one of you guys. Uh, hello, Linda, Linda, Linda. I know she's watching out there today. She sent me a beautiful note inside and a beautiful card. I just love it. Love these paper cards that come alive with all the different layers. So we're gonna turn it into a framed piece of art today. And today, as part of this project, I'm going to show you guys how to do what's called wet distressing. I get that question a lot. Sonia, what is wet distressing and can I do it with your paint? I got this frame at Goodwill, but we got to change it up a little bit. We're going to use the existing color that's on it to be the background for the wet distressing that's about to happen. When you wet distress, you're basically taking off the top layer of your paint and it's going to show whatever is underneath it. Whether that's a brownie frowny piece of furniture like brown veneer or in this case, just some fuchsia colored paint. Let's go ahead and grab a color and I think for today, I think for today, we're gonna go with an oceany theme. We're gonna go with some Misty Aqua today. I just realized that Misty Aqua actually matches this card. This is like the green, misty color that we have. This is our chalky style paint. It's the pre-mixed stuff. Just grab a brush and go bananas. And it sticks to pretty much anything under the sun, which means you just gotta have a project and you just gotta go. Into the paint we go and onto the frame we go. Now, because we're gonna be doing some wet distressing, this means that we have to work quick. Because when you wet distress, you're basically gonna be like, giving this a distressed look but you're distressing while it's wet and number two when I think of wet distressing I think of wet rag Lysol wipe or in my case if I also have a makeup wipe around you never want anything to be so wet and like drenched to the point where it's like pouring water off of it rather something that's damp so you're going on in with a damp piece of textile material insert whatever you have wet paper towel all the things go ahead and take my finger through it and basically I can distress as much as I want Ooh, I love that right turn my uh, wet surface or over to get it a little bit more through do you see that there So by doing wet distress, I can really get some softened distress looks. I'm gonna give you an overhead view in just a second here. So guys, you see the difference? When you do a wet distress, you get a really softened, you can blend it a little bit different, it just gives you a different sort of distress look versus taking a sand block and really roughing it up, right? Both beautiful looks and both different ways to achieve it. All right, let's continue on. We're gonna let this dry and then start to work the magic. Okay, our frame is dry. I'm gonna just lay it over here. So now what we're gonna do is figure out the background to create because we got that beautiful card, but obviously it's much smaller than the actual frame itself. Look at this, guys. I have this map here and it's actually got some pink in it. Like it's it's got this beautiful, you know, it looks like just really old paper, but you see how it's got a little bit of pink into it? So because this card doesn't have any pink, but this paper that matches the card has a pink into it, I'm gonna use this one to bring it all together. So versus having only the pink color on the frame and not anywhere else, our eye likes pattern. It likes to see it somewhere else. So I'm going to incorporate, use this piece and incorporate it into the background. Make sense? Things will fall behind the glass. And so as long as I just have some tape to hold it on, we're good to go. There we go. And now the prize, beautiful card that I received. Thank you again, Linda, Linda, Linda. We love you and appreciate your friendship so much. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on here. I don't wanna glue this on because I don't wanna destroy it. I think it's beautiful. And I can open up this frame again and I can see the beautiful words that she wrote to me. So ooh, I like that idea. I'm gonna put this right in the middle and stick it down. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that glass, put over the top of it. Oh, I love it. Gives me ideas for when we like do uh, tabletops, when you put pictures under the glass or a piece of plexiglass always works nice as well, right? Okay, let's go ahead and grab our frame. Boom, oh, I love how this looks. We picked the most perfect color. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? Cannot wait, this is gonna go on my shop wall here, my studio wall, because like I say, your place should be your happy place and um, you should surround yourself with things that you love, 
things from people that you love or just things that make you happy. You could always stamp some words on here if you want. You could always find some mixed media words to apply. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Every single day I do another video upload at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So tune in just like your regular TV show. And leave me a comment below. Do you have a card right now that you are holding on to because it's special to you? Will you consider doing what I just did, putting it into a frame and putting it on your wall. How easy was that? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.